and we're back into Photoshop. So first here are the products that I took the photos of, all of the raw files. So I'm basically just gonna go in here and edit the raw files in Adobe Camera Raw, put them into Photoshop, do the layers, good to go. So we'll start here with the prime bottle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is the white balance. I do have some presets, but I'm gonna go through it manually just so people can see kind of what I'm going through. A little bit of contrast, highlights, just checking to see what I like and what I don't like. I want that prime bottle. I want the prime right in here to be black. So I don't need too much of the shadows. Turning the white up as much as I can, but not blowing out. I want the blacks to be black. I want the textures to be prevalent want the clarity to be right around there and then dehaze sometimes does some good nice detail effects as far as saturation and vibrance goes we'll stick with that so i'm just going to leave it like that all right so it's super easy to cut this out in photoshop but i'm going to show you an alternative dome has remask once again, you could do this with just object selection, but I do like the customization that you get from Topaz and just different layers and things. You don't have to be precise. This little guy over here, cute mask. It lets you see this nice little preview over the background. I'm actually gonna make this onto a solid background color, which is black. It was on white, so you can see, you know, this is what it's gonna look like. We can adjust things from there. So we just need the general for everything. All right, so we have the cutout now. We're gonna do a little bit of cleanup. All right, as for cleanup goes, that's good for this product. So here are the backgrounds that I have for the three different products. I'm gonna mix and match and gonna go around from there. For this one, I may be using this, this background and I'm gonna bring this in and just kind of drop it in there. I didn't look to see what size everything was, but I can already tell. I mean, it's over 4,000, so that should be fine. I'm gonna bring this and put it on top. And then from there, we can simply just drag and drop it where we would want it to look. And I mean, you could just run with it from there but we're gonna do a little bit more to it just to get the smoke and things to kind of wrap around this bottle. I'm gonna go to my brush tool. So what I'm gonna do is instead of delete that, I'm gonna copy this and put it over the bottle. So yeah, I just kind of paint it back in. I mean, it's not perfect, but definitely will fit the mold and look like it's in the clouds clouds will be wrapping around them. Just little things here and there. Another thing is adding some shadow to it. So right now the bottle isn't really interacting with the clouds like I want it to. So I am going to paint in some things in this cloud by adding in a new layer then making it to where it only interacts with that layer. But I'm going to be doing a darkened layer with the same little cloud brush that I just used. This just gives it a little bit of depth. That's pretty much it. That's how you would make a little cloud rendering popping through the thing. So you could control shift E and do final touches on it from there with, with camera raw or you know some other program that you may want, but you could go that route and make it look real nice and fancy. If you wanted to use some type of third party situation and give it some vintage looks or change the colors. You could go that route, make it look even more blue or crazy. I mean, there's the, the options are limitless on this kind of thing. Add scratches and vintage looks. Um, add some bokeh in there. It's gonna get rid of the uh, scratches overlay. Add some more bokeh, little offsets here and there so it kind of blends together. Just gives it some depth. So that's your prime, prime bottle and smoke flying through the air. So now I'll move on to the next one and we'll go from there. So for our second product shoot, we have the density column. All right, so while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and edit the carafe, coffee pot, percolator, whatever this is. And I'm gonna be using the last settings I used on that because it worked so, so well. Tools, Photoshop, layers. This is going to 
put them all into one single layer that we can work on work from there I'm gonna try and align them to make sure it's aligned properly this is way too out of alignment so there's got to be one or two that I must have moved it looks pretty good these are just the different levels of things that I took that one is off so in that kind of situation I delete that because it is not gonna be friends with the other ones I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna crop this and then kind of straighten it up just a little bit we could do that later with the other whenever we're moving this around All right so the cleanup begins All right, so one thing I've noticed is this little dirty spot is kind of drawing my eyes away. So what I am going to do is gonna go right below the spot that I don't like. And since this has a hard line cut off, I'm gonna recreate, or I'm gonna create a new layer by Control J, and then I'm gonna use the transform tool, right click, warp, and then just bring this up I'm going to go with that and then I'm just going to read a mask on that and clean up the little spot that if you can't see where you're cleaning up to you can always bring the opacity down and then clean up from there X to switch the color I'm just going to get rid of this little spot kind of feather it out nobody will know all right so now I'm going to figure out how to get rid of all of the things in there to take away all of the things in here, I'm going to go ahead and introduce frequency separation. Now, if you haven't seen frequency separation 2.0, you should definitely go look at that. It did change the game for me and a lot of other people. Uh, is magic? We'll just go with it. So right now I am doing all of the textures, and then I will do all the colors. Okay, so we have a density column product and even stuff like this, I'm not gonna worry about it for now because it's all gonna be covered up. I'm going to struct again, flattening that. You go into remask again, cut out the object, just because this is actually my favorite way to do it. Once again, I know that Photoshop has introduced object awareness and can cut out things really well, but when you grow accustomed to something and grow accustomed to it. This is going to work great for what I'm using it for. Bring in some type of background. This one, we're going to be doing some liquid effects. We have the background and I don't want this bottle to be in the picture at all. I want the liquids and things to wrap around this bottle or this whatever vessel, whatever it is. And so I'm going to use the liquify tool to do that. So filter, liquify, and then if you can't see the bottle in there, you can always go down here to show background, all, and then choose your bottle, and then you can kind of adjust from there. I'm basically just going to be doing a lot of pushing and pulling to get the liquids where I want and just kind of eliminate the other bottle in here, but get it to where the liquid looks good going around the bottle we have. All right, so now if we take a look at the actual image itself, I'm going to just clean up these highlights, crazy edges that we may have, but that's pretty much it. So that's the outline of the bottle. So I'm going to press OK. It's going to load that into this new layer. And then I am going to, I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to get rid of it and paint it back in. So the more time you take on this, the better, just to get things real nice and lined up. So I want to see the density column through this, of course. I want to get the reflections and things from that bottle onto the other bottle. All of the splashes and cool things that you may see. I want to see the edge of this bottle. Trick. I want to leave 
these little reflections in here to kind of sell it. So I'm going to bring this back at a low opacity, low flow, and do that kind of effect. And that just leaves this reflection going on to the bottle itself. Now I'm going to adjust these little splashes that came into here. Once again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Not many people are going to realize what you've done. If it already leaves a little bit of a shadow, leave the shadow. Down through here. This is the kind of shadow I was talking about. Right now I'm just kind of seeing what could be added or taken away, like reflections and things, and some bubbles and things back in there. Alright, so Control shift e put that on top, I'm going to go to a final, final shot, final look, whatever you want to call it. I'm liking the way that looks, so I'm going to turn off the film, the overlay, I'm going to add in some bokeh again to help sell it just that much more. A little darker, contrast, get with the highlights up. This will get rid of just kind of the cartoony colors and things like that. Make it just look cool, just that much more realistic. Coffee pot carafe, thingamajig, whatchamacallit. Loading it into the layers just like before. Bleeding over here to make sure they're all loaded. All right, you have seen what I've done with the other ones. So I am just going to time lapse the cleanup on this so we can get right to the second part, which I believe you are here to see. So this will be sped up. Just in case you're here for the long form, doing the stack mode again, just seeing what the smart object selection does with different things and different looks. Sometimes, man, it works just flawlessly. Gives you a great look, good starting base to work with. Of course, the more objects you have, the more it has to work with. It's an average of everything. This is the kind of thing you would do to eliminate crowds. This does a little bit. This is the same kind of thing. It just gives a different algorithm run through. It's a little bit of a different look. Well, the second thing I like to do sometimes is just see what light mode gives. It's too much lighten, so I'm just gonna go through each one of them by hand. This one down at the bottom as my base, which is the median. I'm just gonna take, take parts of everything that I like from each one and add it to the next. I'm gonna bring in some coffee, doing some cropping here and there. Bring this to the top, get this big so we can have some room to work. Inverting the crop selection is pretty easy. This is just the background color. There we have some white to work with. Now, I can just move this wherever I want, rotate it, and do all the things. With this one, I just wanted this back little splash here, so I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. Just like before, liquify tool, no background, way bigger. Just kind of conform this to, so I'm going to be getting rid of everything except for that one little back spot. I'm going to create a white background using solid color. That way I can change it if I want to, or make it an off color. Let's do that. Let's make it like a off yellow. Bring back the splash. If you're thinking, it's a simple adjustment. 
we just bring this over. What I was talking about was the white painted on the background itself. I'm supposed to do that. Don't want any of that in this. Don't want any of the ground because we're going to be putting our own ground. So what I was talking about earlier, this white background can easily be taken away just by holding Alt, dragging that over, and any white background goes away. So this one is like an explosion type thing, and I just wanted this top part, of the explosion coming out, just wanted to line up. Once again, you can brag, and that makes that go away pretty much. The rest will be brought back in post. Coffee grounds, exploding in the background there. Next part is going to be ground and some liquid coming out of the spout. So I'm gonna use this twice. First, we're gonna be doing that. Match. Oh, make it look like this is sitting. Hell, there's still some white in there. It's okay. This is gonna be there as if it's sitting on these grounds of coffee. So I am gonna come in here and do a little bit better job than last time, just selecting out these parts to kinda make it work. Which, once again, Nobody's gonna notice too much of this. So, saying go willy-nilly crazy hard on it, but like I said I'm gonna be doing a little bit of liquid as well. That's background, so now I'm gonna make some liquid come out and then come around. So I kinda, I like the way this little base looks. I'm gonna bring in the backgrounds again to get that liquid. I'm gonna do both the liquids. So this disappeared, just press to undo. This liquid is going to be coming out of the spout, going off screen. So I'm going to cut it off right there and there. White, turn this back up, sell it. You want to see the inside of that little bit just over the spout. Just kind of following it. Put that on. If you wanted to, you could take the liquify tool and spread this out or do whatever you may want. For now, I'm just going to go to the hard tool just cut this out hard because liquid would come out with no type of feather to it. It would come out as a hard, any of the background to come through. Wood coming through the spout. Now I'm going to make some come around for that. I think I'm going to use this one again. And this is kind of the reason why I wanted that splash in the background too. I kind of wanted it to make it seem like it's kind of hitting it and then splashing and then coming around and coming onto this. Now it is getting rid of some of the highlights in here. So I'm going to make two different layers of this. One with the blend mode and one without the blend mode. So it can keep the highlights on one and not the other. But I'm going to add that back in later. Good. That's what I'm talking about with this. I'm going to bring this back just so you have the real true highlights coming through to create those splashes. That really sells that it's there. Find these, get rid of this little part. Is that doesn't make sense. Bring this. I'll bring that back. That little bit. I don't need any of the rest of this. So just paint this little guy out. Right, so now you have this fun little coffee thingamajig. These beads, because they're just flying out. Flatten that. All right, so I am actually going to duplicate this. This there. This go behind this. Bring this way down, because it needs to have some kind of reflection on the back part of that. Like that multiplied. It's kind gonna wrap it around it's like a little little adjustment that will sell it even more again you could spend all day just matching things up we're gonna go with that Let's make these little things a little bit less and then get rid of all of this back behind you because that would be this little splash that would be there in the reflection all right i'm gonna do different type of thing some old school analog nick effects so we are attempting to make it look like you know, an old, old advertisement kind of thing. I'm going to click around here and look and see what kind of effects it gives us. That's like an older look. Same kind of thing with... I don't want to do that. So, save that. 
process. It is, it is a huge file. The next thing we're going to do is make this smaller. All right, so now I'm going to make this smaller because it's a ridiculous size. Uh, I don't know, 5,500 on the long side. And I'm going to come in here, make a new layer, come in here, do a field blur over everything. It's okay. Give this that same little treatment we did with all the other things. It's just more of a manual way to do it. There's your coffee pot. We're going to save that and be good to go. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you want to edit any of the raw files with me, go to my Patreon link down below and join me in editing. I may start a Facebook group soon, so look out for that. Also, I want to say this was a fun time editing with artificial intelligence and kind of doing something a little different and new. Normally, you know, six, eight months ago, this wouldn't be possible. So it really is an evolution and a revolution that's kind of taken over the industry and giving us bigger and better things to be able to work with. Thanks for coming by and I'll see you next week. Are you still here? Are you subscribed? Have you liked it? Commented? <laughs> Probably not. Probably just... Probably, probably not. Bye. Bye.